Often compared to Joan of Arc and to Boadicea's leadership of the war against the Romans, Ya Asantiwa's decision to lead the war against the British is one of the most fascinating and dramatic responses to a crisis in the 19th century Asante by a man or a woman. On March 28, 1900, Governor Hodgson entered Kumasi and demanded that the golden stool, the symbol of Asante unity and pride, be given to him as representative of Queen Victoria. In the absence of the Asante Hini, already exiled in the Seychelles along with other leading chiefs, Ya Asantiwa, Queen Mother of Ejisu, became, as the saying goes, the only man among the men. She questioned, how can a proud and brave people like the Asante sit back and look while the white man takes away their king and chiefs and humiliates them with a demand for the golden stool? The golden stool only means money to the white man. They have searched and dug everywhere for it. I shall not pay one prejuan to the governor. If you, the chiefs of Ashanti, are going to behave like cowards and not fight, you should exchange your loincloths for my undergarments. Muntu mudanta mame na munyimitam. And the leaders felt, uh, the chiefs felt so ashamed and so provoked that they swore there and then that they were going to fight, especially if the British didn't make any effort to seize the golden stool. And after that meeting, and it was at that meeting that Yasan was appointed the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. I don't think there are many people who are aware of the fact that the Asante and the British fought in 1824, in 1826, in 1874, in 1896, and finally in 1900. I don't think many people do know of any of the, of, do know much about the first four wars, but almost every schoolboy now knows about the Yasantua war. An old man, old woman called Yasantua lives in Ajisu, the mother or aunt of the chief there, a man who was sent into exile with Prempeh because of course Nana for an Since then she has ruled the town. She has much influence in the whole Asante and is the soul and head of the whole rebellion. She is in fact sitting quietly in Ajusu, but sends orders out from there to the different camps around Kumasi. Her main representative in the army is Kwesibwed, chief of the Siasi near Ajusu. 